Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got another tutorial for you, and this time we're going to be going into Cinema 4D, and uh, I received a lot of requests, I um, commented on one of my After Effects videos, um, where I did lighting in that, and um, I said, do you want to see it in Cinema 4D, so how to maybe light up your scene and get some glossy refle reflections and things like that, and it got it got quite a big response, so I thought I would uh, do one. So basically, all I've got, I've got Cinema 4D open, and first of all, I'm just going to create maybe a text layer, just so we can have um, something to actually see the reflections on. So I will put it in the center. So I'm going to just change your text, oh. and then I will change maybe this maybe 75. And now the trick of getting reflections, actually first of all I'll just change my font quickly. Uh, use type, right, right. Okay, so we have our text, but now the way to get really nice reflections is, is actually to go into the caps. And this, by putting on a bevel, we can um, go to fillet caps, put it on both sides like this. So now you can see that we've got this uh, really nice bevel, so if I was to zoom in, you can see we've got this bevel. And now this is how you get like the glossiest sort of reflections because this will sort of reflect, refract and reflect the light in a different way to the whole of the other text. So this is how, this is the secret really. So first, and now um, and next we can um, set up our render settings quickly actually. So I'll just make this 1280, 720. And the key also is to go to effect and put global illumination on. Now, if you're say doing this in an animation, you want it to be quite quick, because this can be quite time consuming if you don't have a very powerful computer. So we can put this drop down, we can make, change its animation. And then we can go into here, and we can change these two options here to low. So now it's just gonna speed up our render time. So we have our text, and we can just click render and there's nothing special because we have no lights. Now I'm going to show you three ways you could do this and the first way is this. We can go up to our cube here and make a new plane and then we can just stretch this out so it's the size of the text and now we can drag this up so it's above our, above our text layer and now because we don't want to see it we can right click and go Cinema 4D Tags and then Compositing and uncheck scene my camera so now when we read no we will not be able to see this and what we can then do is we can hit control C and then control V to, uh, to essentially duplicate it and then we can zoom out a bit and we can just rotate this and we can hold shift so it will snap to 90 degrees and then we can also probably shorten it a tad uh, like this Sorry about that, and we can drag that down. We can now rotate back around and we can drag this to the side. Probably just a bit more. And we can control C, control V this, drag this to the other side. You could also put one underneath, but for now I think I will probably leave it there. Okay, so we have now our basic lighting setup, but now these aren't giving off any lights. So what we need to do is we need to create a new material, so we can double click down here and double click on our material. And we can uncheck the color, because we don't actually need the color, but this, now we can put luminance. Now this is going to mean that it's going to be emitting light, and I'm sorry if you can hear a train going by, because there's a train track re relatively close to my house. Um, so yeah, so we can check luminance, and um, now we can drag this onto the planes. So now these are going to be emitting light, and now if we were to render, you should be able to see your text, and you can see we've got this quite a nice highlights, which I I always really like, and but it's not really that glossy at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to make a new material for our text, and the color I think maybe I'm just going to put it a white actually, but obviously you could have maybe a nice blue, red, whatever you want. And we can go to reflection and check and uh, check that box. And now we get a reflection, but we can't actually see our color because it's just completely reflective. But we can go down to our texture here and click on a Fresnel reflection. And this is gonna give us some really, it's, it's 
essentially just put a gradient over it and it um, isn't as strong as the normal reflection but we can always change with the mix strength but we can leave it there for now and we can then drag that onto our text layer and now you, we should find that it's a bit more glossy like that and I mean here yeah, I could go through and change this so I can make this maybe a uh, red colour when it updates which doesn't want to uh, oh sorry that was oh that was why sorry so that was on the reflection tab I want to go to colour my bad and we can go red here so now let's change the red and we can and now you can see we got some really nice gloss going on and that looks really nice um, now I'm going to show you maybe another way so I'll just delete these and now this isn't really the glossy sort of reflections but we can uh, this is just basic lights and this I don't really prefer this way but we could create a new light by clicking here on the light tab and we can just drag it back and up and then we can also control and uh, we can make another one and we can drag this to the back and then I've got my front view here and drag this up and now if we render I'm just messing around here I'm not sure this is going to get see it's not really the same I definitely recommend you use the uh, plain way just because I think it looks a lot nicer um, but this is how you can light it up um, another way if you didn't want so much gloss but that's yeah this is the right way but it doesn't really achieve the same uh, effects um, and there was one more way that I've uh, that I normally always use because I just think it's probably the nicest and it's the most easiest way to set up and now this is if you have grayscale gorilla uh, like it pro now you can use this and we can uh, so I just open my content browser and I'm going to put an overhead softbox in so we can double click and that will import it what it should of uh, it doesn't look like it's wanting to do it and there we go so now we have our overhead softbox if I zoomed out uh, it's quite high up we have this softbox I can just lower this down a bit and I think this is just the best way of doing it because literally that is all you have to do and I'll just check this is over the actual text, yeah that's fine let's probably center it up and literally you will see we will get some really nice reflections just like that and like no effort needed whatsoever it's just already there the light kit pro is a definitely a fantastic thing to get because you have all these light rooms and stuff that are really nice that you have all these studios if you look down in the little preview corner here so we have these office and stuff oh, it just looks really nice and yeah that's what that's the way I normally use and so yeah this was just a, a little quick um, thing of how I make my reflections and glossy text and this would look say really nice if you then had like a, a sky in your um, edit say you would motion track this all in you could have your sky and you could drag your old material on and then then this this the reflections are going to be acting with your uh, sky and um, you can probably get a bit of the surroundings to actually come out on the reflections which will which also just adds to it because it makes it more look more realistic so yeah that's about it for today and um, that was just a quick overview of lighting and materials in Cinema 4D and I hope you enjoyed this video and if it did just drop a like and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.